everyone, it's Sophia from mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com. I'm filming for the next 12 days. This is the 12 days of Christmas, day one. <music> We had a little bit of flurries yesterday and the temperature right now is uh, a little bit above freezing. Well, you can tell the snow is sticking, not a lot, and I'm walking the dogs. They look dirty against the white background and they're pulling so much and the ground is frozen so I'm anticipated that eventually they're going to get me to fall, right? Relax. So like I said, this is day one and uh, it's quarter to eight in the morning. After I'm done walking the dogs, I'm going to drop off the kids at school and clean the kitchen, I have to take a shower, and then most of the day is going to be spent putting the Christmas decoration up. I'm definitely not going to have enough time to put all of the Christmas stuff up. Um, probably going to do the mantle and maybe the Christopher Ratko tree and start the big tree. But definitely won't have the time to do the uh, decoration outside which is not much but i still have to do that i have some grocery shopping to do so i'm going to take you along with me and i'm getting out of breath um just to give you come on guys just to give you a heads up i did not do weight watcher at all this week at all and i come on let's turn around i did terrible actually so i'm gonna go back on it today i don't think it's gonna make much of a difference when I go to my meeting on Saturday. Um, I'm definitely anticipating that I regain some weight. I'll start again on Monday. Um, well, actually on Saturday. I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it at all. Um, and you know the situation, but I'm not going to use that as an excuse. Well, apparently I did, but like I said in earlier videos, my shuffle of excuses is getting rather empty at this time. So I just got to do what I got to do and that's it. All right, let me finish walking the dogs and take the kids to school and start my day. Stay. Stay. No, stay. 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 Ah, ah. Get back, I'm trying to train them. Stay. Don't touch. Stay. Good boy, good girl. All right, go. Yes, there you go. Come on, Electra. There you go. Good boy, good girl. This one is eating less food because he has to lose 10 pounds. You see that? Look at the fat on this dog. You gotta lose 10 pounds, so you're getting fed less food. 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm taking the kids to school in about, um, I don't know, 8 minutes, something like this. I have to clean the counter from breakfast. You see the uh, dining room's got to be cleaned a little bit too. Probably going to have to yeah, empty the dishwasher and kind of clean up around here. I got to turn my amaryllis because it's getting crooked right there. And uh, see that? That's my bird feeder. They empty this thing every single day. Every day I got to fill it up. Um, so you know what? Let me do that now. Only because I want to make sure that the early birds get to be fed. Bye! Bye, Mom! Love you! Love you, too. Watch him run. There we go. <laughs> okay, well, uh, it's 9 o'clock and uh, I change the tablecloth in the dining room, swept the floor in the kitchen, I cleaned out all the counters, emptied the dishwasher, put the stuff back in. I'm trying to keep the same routine every single day. Try to, you know, I guess create some kind of working routine for me because I can't just like shower in the morning and start cleaning. I can't do that. I got to clean first and then I'll shower. It makes sense to me. But anyway, I'm going to have, um, you guys have been asking for me to do uh, to show you what I eat on Weight Watchers since I'm back on Weight Watchers after a long week of doing whatever. Um, I'm going to have two poached eggs and I'm going to put my poached eggs on sandwich thins. These are uh, three points um, or 100 calories so that's from the Arnold and they were on sale. I think they were $2.49 special. So expensive for what they are but basically they're just like 
bagels that are super super thin and this one is 100 whole wheat flax and fiber I got that in the toaster right now cup of tea I'm probably going to relax for about 15-20 uh, minutes, you know, watch the news on the internet, see what's going on in the world because I have to keep up. And after that, uh, shower, clean my room upstairs and or, you know, not necessarily in that order and do the Christmas stuff. So, Christmas stuff. Here's the living room. You can tell the house has been maintained clean. Here's the very, very lazy Electra, hello baby. Yes, you spend your day on the sofa and this one here is jealous. Yes, I see you too. All right, so I'm definitely doing the mental because I usually start with that. So there's gonna be garlands there and my uh, golden center in the middle. I'm definitely gonna do the ramp here. Um, build the tree with the lights, not necessarily decorated, but build the tree. And then, um, if you remember from my last year's video, I had a round table right here. This was not in the house yet, but I had a round table right here and I had my small tree with the Christmas, with the um, Christopher Ratko ornaments. But now that I have the buffet, I can't do that. I can't put the table right here. It's just gonna be in the way. So I was thinking since I have grandma's very large uh, coffee table, relax, hey, relax. Since I have grandma's very large coffee table, I'm going to put the tree right here in the middle with all of the Christopher Radko ornaments. So that's that. And what else am I going to do? Um, Santa is going to go here. The nativity scene, probably going to put it over there. And then I want to do like some kind of decor on either side, but you know, I'm broke. So <laughs> I have some foam core upstairs. I'm definitely not going to have time to do that uh, today. Definitely not today, but certainly this weekend. I have some foam core upstairs and I think I'm going to try to build those 3D reindeer. I'd like to have two big white reindeer. Ideally what I would want is those very large glittered white reindeer, but they're expensive. I don't want to have, it's not in the budget right now. So I'm definitely going to try to build two here just to see what it looks like with the center in the middle. And uh, that's about it. I may put a wreath dangling from the light here with some ornaments. I don't do anything over here because that's usually where I put all the cards and I'm behind, I only have two, but there's way more. And um, yeah, so that's about it. So I don't think I'm gonna have time to do everything. Oh, and then there's the outside. I still have to do grocery shopping. Williams got karate lesson this afternoon. I'll take you along. It's time for breakfast. I'm going to poach some eggs. Let me get a spoon. Well, this, I think I've shown you this in a video before. I have um, a dash of vinegar in there. So I want to twirl it and put my eggs in there. These are not the freshest eggs. And the reason why you do that is because the twirling gathers the white around the egg. And then you have a push stick that's not too, you know, out of shape and the eggs are not super super fresh they're still good but they're not the freshest so i'm gonna give it a little bit more of a twirl i just want them to keep their shape what are you eating what are you no what is that would you knock it off oh, you grab everything you're terrible he just ate a pair of gloves of mine i saw him run at lightning speed across from the living room with something in his mouth and sure enough it was a pair of gloves so now I gotta buy gloves yeah that's right you're a naughty boy you are so the eggs are two points each and then three points for the uh, big old thin so that's seven points breakfast I'm having some grapes with it as well put a little dash of salt over it and I'm good to go I love poached eggs. One of the habits I'm trying to create that I did not have before, and I know you always tell me that I'm super organized, trust me, I'm not. I really am not. I'm trying to learn is to put things away as soon as I use them. Because I have a tendency to leave everything behind, and then when it's time to clean, I have a gazillion things to clean, and it takes five hours. But if I do it as I go, 
then we're good. All right, time for breakfast, and then I'll uh, clean my room, take my shower, and get ready to decorate. All right, well, it's time to go upstairs. I'm gonna check on the kids' room, probably gonna have to make their beds. Yes, I do. So, put all this stuff away, make the beds, and I have to um, rotate laundry, and then I'll do my bedroom and whatever. So, hey. For those of you who think that stay at home mom don't do anything all day, you are wrong <laughs> because it's you do have a lot to do and you got to be organized about it. So let me just clean this up and yeah, pretty much everything is, uh, I guess bedroom is clean and this is all right. I'm going to do the office anyway. Um, probably going to have to do the bathroom on just the counter over there and that's it and then I'll get ready for everything else I gotta do. Um, it's already, I don't know, it's like quarter to ten, something like that, so I better get going. That's done, much better. Took, what, five minutes, something like that. I have some laundry to take downstairs. Let me check on the bathroom here. I keep on, I do it pretty much every single day, so <clears throat> it doesn't need much cleaning. Just give it a good spray. It doesn't feel like I'm do anything yet of the stuff that I wanted to do but that's okay um, I'm learning to create good habits doesn't need much move that out of the way they have been much better though I have to say about putting the uh, toothpaste cap back on the uh, it's funny how you become thankful and grateful for the little stuff because <laughs> trust me the toothpaste was everywhere before and it was just too much every single day so by the end of the week when I would do my uh, big cleaning I would end up with having to like scrape toothpaste for like 15 minutes but the learning I'm learning it's a good thing it's done. Um, I got the laundry right here to bring downstairs. I managed to make the bed without disrupting the cat. You have not moved one inch, Your Highness. You may return to your nap now. Okay. I'm telling you, you have a cat, they own you. You don't own a cat, they own you. Uh, time to take a shower and decorate for Christmas. Probably gonna do some laundry in between. I think I have like five loads to fold. It never ends. Um, all right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, well, I'm showered. I put some makeup on, dressed up a little bit. Well, this does not constitute a tour of the house, but here's the basement. And you've seen it before. What are you doing? Uh, it's actually pretty decent. I had to threaten Edward. I told him that if he doesn't maintain this general area right here which is his area where the uh, playstation or the uh, xbox is i will take away the xbox and um, he knows i'm serious so let me tell you he's been keeping it clean but when it's messed up he blames it on the dog over there all right so this is all the laundry i gotta bring upstairs and as i was saying uh, this is folded already i got more to do here um probably have now this is empty so i gotta rotate this and put it in there and then do another load all right that's done um fix this a little bit and it's time to get the christmas stuff so i'm gonna move all of this stuff out of the way because i believe my reeves and uh, some of the um garlands in here and yes so here's one garland i'm gonna start with the mantle uh, i'm not sure what this is but you know, get that anyway and then this one says Christmas wreaths I'm so glad I did my Christmas organization ah uh, let me see all right these are all the ones you can't really tell these are all the ones that go outside so they're gonna stay here I'm breaking a sweat here going up and down all right all the boxes are here I still have the tree boxes and more garlands and sled and whatnot in the garage so what i'm going to do is empty this one which is the decorative items let me show you what's inside right 
like my gold center and then this the uh, little ceramic center and cookie jar whatever I'm going to empty this and I'm going to use this box to put all the stuff that's in there the um, antique railroad lanterns probably won't fit if they don't I'll have to put them somewhere else bring them down to the basement and then I'll do this once this is done I'll do the Ratko Christmas tree right here and then I'll go get the uh, big Christmas tree and assemble it over there moving right along I have um, everything off the mantle uh, stuff that needs to be brought upstairs or uh, stays here is over there. I put the uh, lanterns on either side over there and I'm using the box from all of this stuff to kind of gather everything that I have that is not Christmas related and stash it away. So I'm not going to keep this even though I love it. I'm going to move it back downstairs. I'll bring it back up once we're done. And this one thing right here, same thing. I don't really need to wrap them because they're not going to be, you know, moved around. Um, I have to move these as well and uh, this whole tray and then empty at the top over there because that's where I'm going to put the nativity scene. So that's done. I have my Gold center in the middle, I have the mantle taken care of, but I still have these here. Oh, they're cheap. I got them at Michael's, I think, years ago. they kind of like silver glitter branches. And what I do is that I create like a spray behind um, the center. And then I add a few in there just to fill it up a little bit. Because, I mean, these are very, very pretty. And they constantly lose those little beads, by the way. So you got to be kind of careful when you uh, flock your tree and... You put because they're all on wires, so you can orient them whichever way you want. Um, but you do have to be careful because those little beads they eventually come off, and I guess in five years or so they'll pretty much be gone. Um, right, so I'm gonna do that, put that around, and then really, really finish up the uh, mantle, and then I'll tackle the Christmas tree that goes on the dining room table. It's right here in that little box. It's uh, six foot. It's not too tall. So with the one foot, yeah, it's going to go all the way up to here. And then the big one is in that box over there. I don't think I'm going to have time to do the big one today. I'll definitely do the staircase and then some of the dining room. It's done. All right, so I have my spray of uh, silver leaves right behind the center. And then I have those really, really cheap. Got them at a uh, uh, dollar store, I'm sure. Or Michael's, maybe. They... Uh, frosted glass with the uh, uh, fake mercury inside and you put the uh, little tea light candles and what I do is because these tend to you know push stuff forward I just take duct tape and then roll it around itself and put it underneath so that way they kind of you know secured not that they fall or anything but I just want to make sure that they're not going anywhere and I do the same thing with the center I see there's a little bit of duct tape um, that's double-sided and this mantle is done so I'm gonna move back I'll do a, a Christmas house tour when everything is lit up um, because it's it just looks beautiful with the the candles inside those uh, little jars yeah it doesn't take too long every year I do exactly the same thing that's the beauty of it is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel every year I'm trying to have a house that when the kids come for Christmas later on and the grown-ups it's just the same way it's always been. So, you know, you know creating little memories and tradition. I, I want to do that because I remember my mom always had the exact same thing, like the uh, nativity scene that I have, and I'll show it to you later on. That nativity scene we've had since 1980-something, and she gave it to me when I moved here in the 90s. Um, but we, we have an older one at home, and I put it up every year, and the kids absolutely love it. It's always in the same place. It always looks the same. The tree, you know, I add ornaments, but generally speaking, Christmas in this house looks the same year after year. And I just love the whole idea of keeping that look for the years to come as a tradition.
time for a snack. It's noon, I should have lunch, but really I'm kind of behind. So I'm having some baby carrots, that's zero points. And this is two tablespoons of hummus, and that is two points. And the hummus I'm eating is from Yorgos uh, Foods, and this one is organic garlic hummus. And I kind of like it actually. The um, This is not the cheapest brand, I can't remember the price for this, but it's got good ingredients. Um, it's USDA approved organic, two tablespoons. Mm, let me see. Serving size is two tablespoon or 28 gram, and that's 50 calories and uh, 20 calories of fat. Well, apparently I have to move on to Plan B because the idea of putting the tree in the middle of the coffee table did not work out at all. The tree is just too big, so I had to move stuff around. The table is still here by itself, but I take I took the uh, little round table that was here. I put it in the corner. And I put that one tree. Remember, I got two trees. This is the one for the Christopher Radko ornaments. Um, and then I put one of the little table that was in there and put it here so I can still have my lamp there. And in order for the tree to stay where it is, because the last thing I want is for it to fall. And by the way, if you have one of those artificial trees, they are a pain to put together. They really are. Um, then you got to flock them and whatever. So in order for it to stay here, I put a towel on top of the uh, round table and I wrapped it with bungees. And the reason why I have the towel is that the bungee hook right here does not scratch the wood. But basically the idea here is that the tree cannot topple over unless you really, really, um, you know, go after it. Um, and I'm doing this because the Christopher Radko ornaments are all collectibles. I don't want to lose any and the dogs have a tendency to kind of goof off around the uh, um, you know the living room I just don't want it to topple over when they were little guys this one was chasing the other one that was still a very little puppy and I had my big tree here in the corner and the I guess the stand was not locked in properly and the whole tree fell right all the way over here I lost the topper I lost a lot of very very um, good ornaments that I cannot replace because I can't find them anywhere anymore and some of them I don't remember where I purchased them so now the tree still goes in the corner I make sure that the uh, stand is locked properly and then I tie the tree to the bars that are on the staircase right there so that in case the stand fails the tree is still being held by the uh, banister I hope I'm making sense so anyway um Next, I the lights for this tree are broken, so I have to go to the Walgreens and get a cheap set of, you know, 100 lights, install the lights, put the skirt on. Actually, I could put the skirt on now, if only I would find it. Oh, right here. So I'm going to put the skirt on, um, decorate the bottom a little bit, put the lights on, and clean up behind me, and then probably do the banister before I do the tree. Skirt is on and I have the same fake packages that I had last year to hide the rest of the tree because for some reason they could have put another set of branches here but they didn't so it looks kind of awkward but you know from far away you have those boxes. And 200 lights is what I have in there and um, I have food in the microwave so I'm going to show you what I'm having for lunch. It's about two o'clock and then I kind of started here call me crazy but I put a little Santa hat on my uh, swan I think it's cute and a uh, jingle bell um, I don't know what you call it wreath I guess and uh, right here I have my little sleigh with the two mice and then the mouse king which has been trapped as I do every year right, so I'm having lunch I'm having I didn't have time to uh, prepare anything so I had one of those uh, back up inside the um, freezer. It's a Lin Cuisine chef's pick. This one is stick portobello and this is the picture. This is what it looks like. This is the picture. This is what it looks like. A ripoff. So anyway, for those of you wondering how many points that is, I scanned it with my Weight Watchers app and that is four points. So I'm having this for four points, another hot tea and a Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt. This one is pineapple, not my favorite, but I grabbed the first one that was in the fridge. And those are two points, by the way. And I already had nine uh, since this morning, including the uh, uh, hummus. So that's nine plus six. That's 15 points. So that pretty much means that I have 11 points left for the rest of the day. I'm going to have my lunch, 
Uh, by the time I'm done, it's going to be time to go pick up the kids and I guess I'll finish up the rest after that. I still have to take uh, William to karate and do some grocery shopping. So it's been a busy day. You like it? Yeah. What do you like? Well, I don't know. You don't know? All, All right, do you want to go and turn that tree on? Yes. Let's see how the lights go. Okay, so how do I turn it on? Will you plug it in? Where's the cord? On the left. Oh. You got it? Yeah. You got, you see the cord? I, I, oh. All right, plug it in, let's see. Yay! Yay! What do you think? Pretty cool. All right, so this one that I added some of those um, kind of leaf sprays with glitter and little red berries on it. And then I have a, uh, a garland that's a little short for the tree, so it doesn't go all the way along, but you know put it there. I have grandma's little butterflies I put all the way on top because I know that I'm not going to have much to put there. But basically this entire tree here is just for the Ratko ornaments and they are somewhere in there in this box but I'm not going to put them up yet. Um, what's next? I have to assemble that tree. I'll do it probably tomorrow. Let me start with the banister. You good with that? Cute. Who's going to help? All right, thank you. Oh, Garland is up. Um, I have to put some lights in it. I flocked the whole thing, so at least it looks some kind of natural. Um, put some lights up. What do you want? <laughs> hey, you're half hours over. You gotta do your homework. <gasps> All right, so it's 7 p.m. Um, I just finished a um, you know run with my 12 year old. He's decided that he wants to join the track team, so he's running every night around the block. Well, actually, around four blocks. He's doing four laps. Uh, that's about 45 minutes worth of driving behind him. <laughs> and you like the uh, karate? That yeah. was cool. Yeah. All right. And um, yeah, so I have no time to go to the supermarket now, and that's all right, but I still have to clean all of this because it's a disaster again. I still have all my boxes there. A um, little peek at night of that one Christmas tree in the corner. Uh, there's no ornaments yet. Um, I put some of those little glittered thing at the bottom, you know, just to give you a little bit of a uh, shine and then we still have this here i still have to get the candles and then i have the one on top over there that's done stop kicking around all right uh scott is coming in about an hour oh i put some of the um what do you call them stockings here i have three here uh, in front of the uh, center and then i have one on each side of the uh, tv I'm not putting them on top of the uh, mantle because we do fires in that fireplace and I don't want them to get, you know, all messed up. So, still have to clean the kitchen, even though it was clean five hours ago. I have to uh, do all of this and I'm going to have to figure out what to make for dinner. All right, so let's see what's for dinner because I'm a master at figuring out leftovers. I'm going to have a... California veggie burger from Dr. Prager's. These are two points. Okay, so that's just the burger. There's only one left. That's okay because my husband's got sausage. I'm gonna have that on the another sandwich then. Remember that's three points, so now we have five. So I have, uh, like I said, I have 11 points left. So this is two, 
plus 3 is 5. Then I have the Dr. Prager's spinach pancakes. These are two points as well, which is really, really awesome because they're delicious. So I'm going to have one of those. So that's five. So that's seven, right? Um, then I have a salad. That's zero points. This is the onion and a lettuce for my um, burger, I guess. And then I'll add a little bit of dressing here, which is the Boathouse Farm miso ginger vinaigrette dressing it's technically one point for uh let me see 30 grams which is a little bit over um a large tablespoon and quite frankly i just drizzle a tiny tiny little bit so this is boathouse farm and you don't find it at the regular um dressing that's usually in the vegetables the fresh carrots and things like that um you know dressings and mustard that's zero and then for dessert i'll have one of those stonyfield petite creme it's a um, it's like a thicker version of a greek yogurt those are four points they are a little bit thicker but they have a huge amount of protein this has 10 grams of protein for this little tub right here so that's four so that was seven for the uh, burger the uh, veggie burger and um the spinach patty plus four here is 11. I'm not counting the little drizzle of uh, miso soup I put in there and because I don't need to. The kids are gonna have leftover pizza that we had yesterday, so I have to put that in the oven. Um, my husband's getting a salad. And then for my husband, I have some uh, leftover pasta and broccoli. And whenever you have pasta in the fridge that's been kind of like cold, it kind of gets all hard. What you have to do is just put it inside a wok like this and add a little bit of chicken stock. And then, you know, it just separates the pasta noodles again. So that's that. And it's done. I just have to add a little bit of cheese. And then in there, I have some sausage. I had uh, sweet Italian sausage that I had prepared earlier. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit on this because what's going to happen with that is that it's going into a soup tomorrow but he can have like at least four pieces and he still has some of that spinach um, pancakes as well. So I hope that helps. This was uh, my entire meal for the day. So you see the 26 points, I mean in all reality is not a lot of points. You really don't get a lot of food. What I'm trying to do the best I can is stay away from snacking in between. Like if I have to get a snack, I'll get carrots and um, hummus you saw that or maybe I'll have a banana or a piece of fruit which is zero point but I tried to stay away from snack and to give you an idea of how good I'm doing today there's a box of croissant right here that the kids eat for breakfast that I have not touched at all and usually I could inhale three of those and not even think about it so I'm seeing progress I'm gonna wait for my husband to come home another 20 minutes serve dinner put the kids to bed and then I'm probably gonna go upstairs and do some reading tonight so I hope you enjoy Enjoy day one of my 12 days of Christmas um, I have no idea as I'm talking to you right now how long that video is going to be it seems like there was a lot in there I hope it didn't saturate you tomorrow I have two concerts there's my uh, little guys concert in the morning this is my oldest guy concert in the evening in between um, I actually have a an appointment I need to go to so I'm not gonna take you to that and um, I'm probably gonna do the grocery shopping I was supposed to do and take you along to Barnes & Noble all right Thank you for watching, a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!